It, it was incredibly exciting to see the data. It was uh, almost surreal. This is a phenomena that had never been seen before. What's been discovered is the merger of two dense neutron stars. What they produced was a ripple in space-time that was detected as gravitational waves, as well as the light from the radioactive debris ejected from it that glows brightly for some period of weeks. And in that radioactive debris, we see signals of formation of many of the heavy elements around us, all of the gold and platinum and other precious metals. From that, we conclude that basically um, there's enough material produced in these events to basically seed the entire galaxy and the, and the Earth with, uh, with all these heavy metals that we uh, find around us. What we see from the observations is, is a point of light, but there's a lot of information in that light. Its exact uh, spectrum of colors across the rainbow, its brightness, and how it evolves over time. But you can distinguish whether you're seeing the heaviest elements or lighter elements based upon their color. The, the lighter stuff looks blue, the heavier stuff looks red. By comparing those to the theoretical predictions, uh, we're actually able to infer what the material was made of, how much it produced, and, and how fast it was actually ejected from the um, neutron star merger. These events produced large amounts of, of gold, maybe hundreds of Earth masses worth of gold, and even more platinum maybe 500 Earth masses worth of platinum. I think without the theoretical uh, modeling that we had done, um, we'd all be pretty mystified as to what exactly we would, had seen. But since we had made predictions about exactly what the color and brightness and duration of these events would be, we were able to not only understand we, what we were seeing, but actually decode the material was, that was there. It's exciting to think that something that's so kind of far out and distant in space is, is so closely connected to something as is home in terms of the, the ring on your finger uh, or, or, or the gold uh, chain around your neck. I'm sure in, they'll find many more in the coming years and in, in 30 years it'll be another chapter in the, the textbook of, of, of astrophysics. So it's exciting to see the first few sentences of that chapter being written right now.